Are you serious? Are you serious? This is uh, a Palestinian Islamic scholar. Uh, his name is Dr. Al Yaz Yazi. Yazi. Now, I'm not saying his last name right, but anyway, he's an Islamic scholar. It has to do with Islamic studies. And he has, has revealed the vision of the radical Islamic world. It is to conquer the Vatican. Now, a lot of people, uh, I understand that there's, we've got pictures of the Pope meeting with uh, Islamic leaders. I've seen these. I've seen these videos. I understand them. And, of course, you can find pictures of world leaders of every different nation meeting with different uh, with their enemies at times. This is fully understood. As a matter of fact, I understand what Chrislam's about. And that's the blending of a one world religion where you, where you try to blend Islam and Christianity, which is insane. And you guys know how I feel about that already. We know there's going to be a new world order, a one world government, a, a new world order, one world government. It's the beast. That's what the Bible means by the beast. It has a leader, he'll be the Antichrist, and there's a false prophet, and I believe he's coming from radical Islam. Now, Rome must be conquered. It's the most, the Vatican is considered the most powerful Christian denomination under the banner of Christianity. And we've taught on these things. Now, here's the thing. Islam is not going to let the Vatican survive. Matter of fact, you should, you've got to get a copy of my new book, Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D. It's amazing because in the book, I describe to you how uh, the, the um, conclusion of Pope Benedict XVI, I tell you about the new Pope that's coming, which will probably be the last, and I tell you what happens to the seven top cardinals. And how it relates to the end time prophetic days that we're entering into and that we're in, actually. But let me play for you a YouTube video. It's only about a minute. I'm not even sure it's even that. But this is uh, this Islamic scholar. So let me go to the beginning. It, he, he, um, it has been translated for you. And here we go in the subtitles. And let's get it to crank up here. Here we go. Dr. Uh, Subai Al Yangzi. The conquest is an old dream. Something Muslims proudly hope for and will continue to hope for in the future. We place our hopes in Allah and trust that the day will come when our triumph will not be restricted to Palestine. Our hopes are to go beyond that, to raise the banner of the caliphate over the Vatican, the Rome of today, in accordance with the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad. Let's, let's, just, let's go back and watch this again. I want to be sure you understand this. Constantinople shall be conquered and then Rome. Let's let's watch this again. I'll try to slow him down just a little. And then I've got some information about Constantinople. Dean of Quranic Studies. The conquest there. Something Muslims proudly hope for and will continue to hope for in the future. We place our hopes in Allah and trust that the day will come when our triumph will not be restricted to Palestine, but go beyond. Our hopes go beyond that to raise the banner of the caliphate over the Vatican. Now, you know Muhammad Mercy of Egypt is already saying he wants to raise the banner of the caliphate over Jerusalem. And the dean of Quranic studies is teaching. You have to understand, this is not just a local ragtag terrorist groups. 
that have a vision, have a dream of overtaking Jerusalem and the Vatican. The Vatican. Now, I'll share with you a little bit here, uh, and then I'll finish this video. But, of course, Istanbul was the capital city of the Eastern Roman Empire back in the day, also over of the Latin and Ottoman empires. And it was founded back in A.D. 330 at um, as the new capital of the Roman Empire by Constantine the Great, after which it was named. Also in the 1100s, the city was the largest and wealthiest European city in the Middle Ages. Its only other European rival in that period was, Con was Cordova, Spain. Eventually, the empire of Christian Eastern Orthodoxy in the East was reduced to just the capital of its environs, falling to the Muslims in the historic battles of 1453. So, here you go. Muslim vision. Our hopes go beyond that to raise the banner of the caliphate over the Vatican. Now, what I want to share with you, if you read my book, it's at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. This is amazing because in the book when I wrote it, there was no, I had not heard of, I only had heard of where Islam wanted to blend, wanted to compromise, wanted to come up with a way to join forces with the Vatican. That's all I've ever heard for 30 years in biblical scholars' teachings. But the Holy Spirit told me, be not deceived, Paul. Jesus Christ is hated. And every denomination under the name of Jesus Christ is the enemy of radical Islam. And in the last days, when the Antichrist rises, he'll be just that, the Antichrist. Now, you may not agree with all the Vatican's decisions, and I don't. I, I certainly don't. But I do know that there's God-fearing Catholics all over the world who love the Lord as well as Lutherans and Methodists and Episcopalians and Presbyterians, all of the uh, ecumenical organizations, as well as the fundamentalists, the evangelicals, the uh, faith people, the uh, legalists. Um, I mean, you know, all of them. Uh, you know, the spirit-filled crowd. Uh, they all love Jesus, and they're all part of the eyes of Christ. The enemy, folks, is rising up among you. Please watch it, and you know who he is. He's coming right out of radical Islam, the false prophet, and he will team up with the New World Order leaders of, of uh, dictatorships that's coming up on the earth. One more time, let's watch the video. And uh, just prepare yourself. You need to get saved. We're living in the last days. We certainly are in the last days. Dean of Quranic Studies at Islamic University of Gaza. Something Muslims proudly hope for and will continue to hope for in the future. We place our hopes in Allah and trust that the day will come when our triumph will not be restricted to Palestine. Our hopes go beyond that to raise the banner of the caliphate over the Vatican, the Rome of today, in accordance with head of the Prophet Muhammad. It's coming, folks. Give your lives to Jesus Christ. Give your lives to Jesus Christ. I want to thank Miramai for their contribution here in helping break these down. God bless all of you.